In North America, we share vital natural resources, including air, oceans and rivers, mountains and forests. Together, these natural resources are the basis of a rich network of ecosystems that sustains our livelihoods and economies. If they are to continue being a source of future life and prosperity, these resources must be protected. The Commission for Environmental Cooperation CEC, brings together citizens and experts, businesses and researchers to protect these valuable resources while supporting sustainable economic development. The Commission's trilateral work is set by the CEC Council, Environment Ministers from Canada, Mexico and the United States. From June 2015 to June 2017, government officials, experts, industry and citizens from these three countries collaborated on 16 projects to make progress on key environmental and trade issues of regional concern. What are some of these results? Key accomplishments. Trade and the environment. Strengthening conservation and sustainable production of selected CITES Appendix 2 species in North America. This project identified solutions and created a blueprint for joint action to promote sustainable trade of priority North American species. In May 2017, the CEC launched North American Action Plans to support the sustainable trade of parrots, sharks, tarantulas, timber, turtles and tortoises. Cualquier actividad comercial en debe de ser sustentable. Los esfuerzos que se pueden hacer a nivel de Norteamérica para fomentar este tipo de comercio serán muy importantes, principalmente para tener buenas bases técnicas y científicas que nos aseguren que los aprovechamientos y este comercio no solo sea legal, sino sea trazable y continúe siendo una oportunidad de desarrollo, especialmente para las comunidades locales y los pueblos indígenas de nuestra región. In the framework of the North American Initiative on Food Waste Reduction and Recovery, the CEC completed the first North American scale research on food waste reduction and recovery, and developed recommendations for action across industrial, commercial and institutional sectors to reduce food waste and its economic and environmental impacts. Accelerating adoption of ISO 50001 and Superior Energy Performance CEP, program certifications in North America. Over the last two years, the CEC assisted top North American corporations in the adoption of international energy performance standards that will cut their energy costs and pollutant emissions. The CEC developed the North American Energy Management Pilot Program and trained 19 industrial facilities across North America to manage energy through ISO 50001 and superior energy performance, creating a pilot for other industries to reduce energy use and costs and improve competitiveness. The CEC has been a really great partner uh, with the Department of Energy as well as our counterparts in sort of mounting uh, a really important pilot program where it, it just helps us get in there, um, you know, help train the workforce, help work with a whole variety of players to, uh, to really demonstrate how an effort like this can work and hopefully take us to a point uh, where we can even grow uh, the participation and the benefits. Sustaining North American Species and Ecosystems. Monarch Butterfly Flyway, communication, participatory conservation, and education programs throughout the migratory route. This project promoted the conservation of the monarch butterfly, one of many pollinators essential to food crops, food security, trade, ecotourism, and economy. The CEC supported the expansion of the Mayor's Monarch Pledge to Canada and Mexico and produced videos to engage the North American public in participatory conservation and education programs. La Commission de coopération environnementale est un instrument important pour les agents qui traitent de l'environnement à travers nos trois pays. C'est vraiment un outil de coordination et d'acquisition de, de connaissances pour prendre les meilleures décisions. Arctic Migratory Birds Initiative, AMBI, the America's Flyway Action Plan. This project supported international recognition of five new sites as critical for migrating shorebirds. Communities at these migration sites are engaging in conservation that also bolsters ecotourism and economic growth, climate change mitigation and adaptation. Local Environmental Observer Network, LEO. 
This project supported the expansion of the LEO Network, an online platform that connects people with local and traditional ecological knowledge to scientists in order to identify and document signs of environmental change. Through the expansion of the LEO Network to Canada and Mexico, the CEC has enhanced the capacity of North American communities to share local and traditional ecological knowledge to support environmental decision making. Para nosotros, en conservación de islas, la red LEO es una, un medio de comunicación que nos acerca mucho a las comunidades que muchas veces están aisladas. Nosotros quisiéramos estar en las islas todo el tiempo, pero nos es imposible. Y de esta manera podemos seguir con esta conexión, porque la gente nos puede seguir mandando los datos en épocas que nosotros de otra manera no nos enteraríamos que está sucediendo. Entonces, ya con eso, el valor de, de la red es, es altísimo. Helping North American communities adapt to climate change. A pilot syndromic surveillance system for extreme heat events. The CEC increased the capacity of communities to monitor health issues related to extreme heat events and published a guide for syndromic surveillance for heat-related health outcomes in North America. North American Blue Carbon, Next Steps in Science for Policy. This project filled knowledge gaps in blue carbon science, policy, and mapping, and promoted the conservation and restoration of salt marsh, mangrove, and seagrass ecosystems. These are just a few examples of how CEC work has achieved tangible results in key environmental and trade areas, such as boosting industrial energy efficiency and competitiveness, protecting key ecosystems, and conserving species that are vital to North American growth, sustainability, and quality of life. These accomplishments have been made possible thanks to the Government of Canada, the Government of the United States of Mexico, and the Government of the United States of America.